Well, hello, hello, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Miss Crochet and Coffee here, and today we have, look, an unboxing. Refreshing. Now, sorry, I'm moving around. This week, you guys know Diamond Art Club released their new canvases. I was able to give you a sneak peek of two of them, and now my order is finally in. A lot of you have been dying to see what I got, and I've purposely kept it a because I know how much some of you guys love the suspense. <laughs> With that said, we are going to get into these boxes. Buckle up. It's going to be a few minutes because if I remember correctly, there's four. So actually, I ordered five. The fifth one hasn't gotten here yet. Somehow we got stuck in wherever and it won't be here until Monday. If Monday, if the mail runs, because you guys know it's a holiday weekend. It's Easter. So happy Easter to everyone. So let's get into these boxes. TGIF, hopefully you're having a great day. I just finished doing my hair, so it's still wet. And that's okay. All right, so we got one box. We got two boxes. We got three boxes. Ah, ah, ah. Get the hell out of here. Then we have their cool Diamond Art Club box, Do What Makes You Sparkle. It has all their social media sites there. So go find them on Facebook, Instagram, and on their website. I love this box. I save all of the boxes, but I like that one in particular because, uh, yeah, it's got diamonds all over it. All right. So we are going to get into these canvases. Now, one of these you've probably seen unboxed like a hundred and thousand times. And I'm going to unbox that one first. Ooh, must be my lucky day. Got four pink ones. All right. So one of them you've seen unboxed 100,000 times, and it's going to be this one. The biggest one I have, which of course you guys already know, is Mama Knows. Now, I thought it was Mama Knows Best, but apparently it's Mama Knows. This mama didn't know. Either way, um, I got this one, and originally I bought it for my dad. For those of you who did know or don't know, my dad is the one you guys see in chat all the time whenever I go live. We call him Papa, because that's what my kids call him, so that's what I call him, so that's what you guys call him. Anywho, Papa just uh, had surgery on his mouth and is now going to be having a double knee surgery for the rest of the year, so he will be out. His first knee surgery is right before we leave for our trip, and then his second one, I believe, is in September. So I wanted to stock him up on diamond paintings while he's down because, I mean, yeah, he can still order them. But I wanted to make sure he had plenty to do because essentially he will be down for the rest of the year. So I think because it's it's Pawpaw and Pawpaw tries to push himself and I'm not there to fuss at him. So we'll have to see. Either way, I originally bought this for him and then I decided, no, no, I want square ABs. <laughs> so I'm keeping this one for myself. And this morning, I placed another order for two canvases for Paw Paw. So where he only was supposed to get one, now he's getting two. And they're two decent sizes, so he should be all right. So let's get into this because, you know, you guys have already seen this one. But I want to see it because I haven't seen it in person yet. It is one of the most popular ones I've noticed. I haven't seen... I've seen a picture of one of the ones I unbo I'm unboxing, but I haven't really seen anybody else unbox the other ones that I got. So it'll be nice because I've been dying to see them. So yeah. Now let's shut up and get into this canvas. So we, of course, know their infamous pink box with the QR scanner to scan to get to, I believe, this diamond painting. You got your steps. Because, you know, in all addictions, there is some kind of step program. <laughs> all right. So you got your toolkit, which has two pink hearts, a uh, clear boat which I'm collecting those now for my little diamond accessory or diamond painting accessory things. We have a blue squishy. Sorry, I'm all up in the way. We have a blue squishy and yeah, you got some stuff. Y'all don't care about that. All right, so we got canvas and diamonds. Now, I'm not going to take these diamonds out of there, but I personally want to see these square ABs. Like everybody else, I want to see them. So let's see if we can find them. If I remember, they were like a yellow color. Luckily for me, it's right there. Boom. These was packaged 317 2019. And there are those square ABs. Aren't they gorgeous? Hold on. Let me make sure you guys can see them clearly. Make sure I ain't foggy or anything. All right. So, yes, those are the very first square ABs released with Diamond Art Club so far. Are they going to put them in more kits? I'm sure they are. All right. 
So let's get into this canvas. This, of course, obviously is a square. <laughs> All right, you're hearing Daisy Booth at people outside. Here is our cool strip of paper, which I just used this to kit up one of my diamond paintings last night. So this one has 36 colors and they have the usual culprits for symbols. And then you have that piece of paper that says something. Right, yeah, y'all okay. And here she is. Now, I want to let you guys know that when you get these diamond paintings, just like with any other company, Diamond Art Club is no different. If you get it and there is an issue, before posting it all over online and making the company out to seem like there are, you know, canvases aren't great or, you know, instead of contacting their customer service first, contact customer service, you guys. I can't stress that enough. Um, if there's ever a problem with, especially a Diamond Art Club, because I know you can go on AliExpress and contact them if something's wrong with your canvas with, through the company that you ordered it through. Diamond Art Club is the same way. If you get this canvas, say your box is beat up. Say the mailman got hungry and ate it for lunch. Say somebody sat on it using it for a stool for lunch. If something happens to your canvas before you get it, before you go blasting them all over Facebook, please, 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 I can't stress it enough, please contact customer service and let them fix it for you because it just, it just, just, it's just bad when you go and the first thing you do is post it on social media because a lot of people give Diamond Art Club flack because you know their prices are a little bit higher than AliExpress, so that means they have to be perfect. No, they're not perfect but they work as hard as they can to get as close to perfection as possible without having to worry about people posting up, oh, this happened to my canvas. I didn't know what else to do besides put it all over social media. Contact customer service should be your first goal no matter what. Can't stress that enough. I'm getting off my soapbox now. All right, so this is Mama Knows Best. I'm gonna call her Mama Knows Best. This one I'm renaming, Mama Knows Best. Y'all know I like to rename stuff. All right, so I love the little flower in her hair, how her dress comes down. I don't have an image like this from Manny Manzano, so this should be interesting. Uh, she has three dragons, if you didn't notice. There's one back here behind her. There's one in her hand here, and then there's another one up here. The AD gems are going to be, I'm going to guess, sporadically throughout her hair. And let's see, because it's the number one. So it's going to be all up in her hair, a couple on her hands. Uh, yeah, and there's like two of them down here. But isn't that beautiful, you guys? Gonna, yeah, there we go. So make sure you guys can see her, her in all her glory. So again, we have our key, one down here, one up top there. We have the schematic. She is a 47 by 84. We're gonna show you some of this drill field here so you guys can see how clear and nice that is. Peekaboo. <laughs> nice, clear drill field. Isn't she beautiful? All right, and then we have our schematic here. Mama knows best. See, Mama knows best. Boom. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> 47 by 84. There's our schematic. And I have to say, I was not planning on getting this one. I really wasn't. It wasn't my cup of tea, and I knew everybody was going after it. And I was like, eh. You guys know, I don't like to follow the crowd. So I was like, I don't. Mm -mm. And then the more I thought about it, I was like, square ABs, Alicia. Square ABs. Yeah, y'all know I had to get in that. Whatever. Don't judge me. All right, so there's Mama Knows Best. I'm going to shove her stuff back in her box. That sounds dirty. And then we're going to kind of put her off to the side here and get into the next box. All right, so the next box. And I don't know how to pronounce this, so please, if you know how to pronounce it, say something. Don't say it out loud, though, because I can't hear you. Anyways. The next one I got because I just, immediately when I saw it, I got the DAC Asthma. Again, if you don't know what DAC Asthma is, it's when you open a DAC or even just the opening box and you see just knowing that you're getting that Diamond Art Club coming. DAC stands for Diamond Art Club for those of you who don't know. You get that box, you open it up, you see it and you're like, oh, that's the DAC Asthma. You're welcome. Anyways, I'm going to say, we're going to focus you first. Hamsa White Elephant. It is it is to bring you good luck and good fortune. So I was like, uh, yeah, I love that. And I hadn't seen anybody with it. Apparently, it's something they had before that they just restocked. I'm not 100% sure on that, on that. Don't quote me. But if I remember correct, correctly, 
it might have been something that might have they might have had before that they weren't happy with because this happens often and i'll explain that little story to you with my last box that i opened every once in a while they'll have something that they're not happy with and they'll take it and they'll sell it and then they'll rechart it and then sell it with the better version so it's not a big one it is round and this one was packaged up hamsa elephant 3 8 2019 again it's round that's a lot of that's a lot of 5200 <laughs> all right it is a 32 by 52 so it's not a huge one which is nice because i don't need any more huge ones did you see mama knows best did you did you just see it you see her still sitting over there all right so let's get into this one because i've been super excited this is probably one of the ones i'm most excited about and even Mr. Coffee was like, uh, yeah, love that one. So, uh, anytime your spouse is like, yeah, I get that one. Yeah, you know. Ooh. Oh, my. All right. So, we got the step thing. Y'all don't care about that. We have our slip of paper. Y'all do care about that one. It has 37 colors. Usual culprits. Love those strips of paper. Now, we're going to fold the hamster elephant. We're gonna fold and then bam all right there it is now I'm gonna bring you down a little bit so you can see over top of that isn't that beautiful the big lotus flower you got the lotus flower at the top of the middle finger there you have the elephant tusk oh my gosh look at the trunk on that thing so we're gonna go through this hold on we're going through this together hold on what are you looking at? Don't don't look in the business. Look at the bed. All right. So, okay. So this is what the Hamsa, Hamsa elephant looks like. That's a lot of 5,200. Look at those eyes. Oh my gosh, she's beautiful. All right. And then we have another little lotus flower up top here. Sorry, don't worry about that noise. Mind your business. All right. So there's that one. And it's drills. Again, I'm going to put the drills back in here. And I did get a tool kit with that one. Let's see. We got another blue squishy in that one. Same tool kit. Y'all don't need me to go over that 4,000 times. So, yeah. So, there's that one. This is going by really quick. All right. So, we are into our third one. Now, our third one. <sighs> you guys all know Maggie. <laughs> uh, this one was picked by Maggie. For those of you who don't know, Maggie loves foxes. And I think it's another reason why she likes Stitcherisa so much, because Stitcherisa has a bunch of fox stuff, because she loves foxes. Uh, or as she calls her sister Risa. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I'm gonna I'm getting the plastic off the box before I show you, so it's not all shiny. So the next one we're gonna unbox is Winged Fox. Now it's kind of dark there, so you can't really see. I'm gonna try to get the glare off. There we go. Winged Fox. This cute little guy is a 32 by 45. There's a whole series of this one. There's a little elephant. There's a little unicorn thing. What's the other one? Elephant, unicorn thing, cat. A cat bat. <laughs> oh no. It just tried to shank me. You see that? Came out of nowhere. And then here's his drills. He is also around. He was packaged 3 9 19. Can you smell the production, folks? It smells glorious. Look at all those pretty colors in there. Oh my gosh. As you guys can tell, I'm not taking these colors out of here. <laughs> all right. So let's open this one up. And I purposely went for the smaller ones this time because again, folks, I don't need any more big ones. All right. I'm about to have to talk with Diamond Art Club about their boxes trying to shake me. I'm going to be trying to shake a sister. All right. Is that the right box? That's the right box. Trying to shake me with the shiv. All right, so, of course, we have our strip of paper, and this one has, this one has more colors than the other ones. 39 colors. Holy moly. Usual culprits for symbols. And we're going to get, yeah, 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 I don't care about that. So, we're going to roll this up. Don't worry, guys. Hang in. There's only one more after this one. You wanted to know what I got. This is what I got. Now, this is the last of the new ones that I got until next week. And then next week, there's one more. Which, I've seen that one floating around. And 
everybody's kind of been in an uproar about that one. So if you know what that one is, yeah, I got it. <laughs> Anyways, so let's look at this adorable fox, shall we? There he is. Now, okay, I can see him now. Can you see him better in there? A little bit. So you can see his little face. And I'm hoping this turns out, because usually with Diamond Art Club kits, you can see it better with, uh... okay, I can see it better now. Yeah, so there are the hands, his little leggies, and this cute, adorable little face. Let's look at that drill fill, shall we? Schematic, 32 by 45, winged fox. Isn't he cute? He's so cute. I just thought it was cute the way that the hand is holding the fox. Look at his little face. Can you see his little face? Without the diamonds on it, it's kind of nightmare feel. I'm not going to put that out there, but I'm putting that out there. All right, and there's little leggies. And there's his wing. So he is adorable. And editing, Leisha will make sure to put up each image by itself uh, with its picture to show you what it's supposed to look like, what the canvas looks like, and if all the drills were there. So, because... Yeah, I don't want to be here all day going through drills, but you know what? Is this it? I think this is the right one. Because I, I don't want to not be able to get them back in the box. But since there was a little bit of an issue with somebody's drills this week, let's do one, shall we? Oh, sorry. I forgot to make my little disclaimer about the plastic. It didn't take long. All right, so I have two bags that aren't with the group. This is me. I don't like following the crowd. So you got two bags not with the group. And then you got the rolled up bags. Okay, so I'm not sure if they ran out of ink and just, you know, got some labels. It doesn't matter. So here we are. Ooh, AB. Hold up, I skipped it all together. 141 is AB. Oh, 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 oh. Get, get out of here. So, yeah, I'm not sure why exactly. Hold on a second. Jeez, oh. Technical difficulties, folks. The joy of trying to charge your phone while you record. All right. So, here are the little fox's colors. Oh, I like that color. Ooh, looky there. There's two ABs in this one. Ah, Diamond Art Club sneaky little foxes. And with Diamond Art Club, if I remember correctly, you will never have more than two AB gems in your kit, mostly because they're meant to accent, not to like, they ain't trying to be super extra with them. So there's the first roll. And then, seriously, get... Come on, plastic. Jeez. Yeah, don't. Yeah, there we go. And then we have these, which the labels are correct on these. I like these little sl silk slender ones. Sorry. Uh-oh, that one tore. Don't worry, they're not falling out or anything. So there's that. So I'm trying to focus on the fox. Focus on the drills, people. 600. That's pretty. Pretty close to my favorite number. All right, 498 and then 945. All right, so the drills on there look really good. And then there's those two. You want to see? See? All right. Now this last one. This last one is not a new one. All right, let me tell you the story behind this last one. Now, if you have been with me since the beginning, which a lot of you have, a lot of you are newer to my channel, so hello. I know there's one person in particular, I can't remember your name, I'm so sorry. Um, there was one person in particular that apparently went back to the very beginning of my channel from seven months ago and watched all of my videos. I don't know if she got all the way through because at this point I believe there's 250 videos up on my channel in seven months. Yeah, I record a lot. Don't judge me. Either way. My very first unboxing with, with, was with Diamond Art Club. Um, I bought a diamond painting and I had a heck of a time with that diamond painting, not anything on their part, but on mine, because I wanted it to be perfect. I wanted to impress this company. I wanted them to possibly see me as 
you know, a good YouTuber that they could trust that they could, you know, work with. And who knew seven months later, they are now like family to me. These women could probably come to my house and I'd cook them a whole Southern dinner. Um, so when I finished that diamond painting, it kind of hurt my heart a little bit. Uh, they didn't like it. They said it looked too cartoony. And after looking at it, I saw what they meant. And I was like, yeah, and the picture itself, the picture is supposed to be like a real lion. And the one that I got looked like something out of Tom and Jerry. So I told them that when it came back into stock after it had been recharted, that I would purchase it. So to please let me know when it came back. And this past week, whenever I made my first order, they let me know, hey, by the way, that painting came back in stock. So I was like, oh, I have to jump on it because I didn't want it to sell out because it was a popular one back when I first got it. Um, so this painting, I know exactly when I'm going to do it and I'm going to schedule my other paintings around it. This painting won't be done until later on this year because that was the very first unboxing that I did. What I'm going to do is on the one year anniversary of my channel, which if I remember correctly is like September 9th or something, I am going to redo this painting the on the one year anniversary of my channel starting. And essentially I'm going to start it on my one year anniversary and then whenever I finish with it, I'll show you guys what the old one looks like compared to the new one. Now, that's the other thing. When I did the first one, my dad fell in love with it. He was like, oh my God, I have to have one. I want one. And I explained to him that they, you know, wait until it's recharted because it, it does look kind of cartoony. My dad did not care. He wants that one I have hanging up on my wall right now. And I was like, fine, you can have it whenever I get the recharted one. Well, when this one came back in the stock and I bought it, I was like, technically right now I have two images from Diamond Art Club that are, um what they would call mistakes. And I don't see them as mistakes. I see them as growth. This is how the company has grown. So because it shows growth, I will be keeping my original copy. And the second diamond painting I sent my dad was Soul Keeper by Diamond Art Club. So if you hadn't guessed it, that's what it is. Soul Keeper by Diamond Art Club, 42 by 57. He is back. He is new and improved. And again, I know exactly when I'm going to do him. So on the one year anniversary of my channel, that is when I will do him. I will make sure to schedule everything accordingly. Of course, I'm not going to unbox him again, but yeah. So yeah, there was that whole long story about Soul Keeper. So the two canvases that my dad, I ordered for him today were Mama Knows Best and Soul Keeper. So those should be arriving to him next week. So he should be a happy camper while he's down and out. So let's get into this box. And if you don't remember the first time I unboxed Soul Keeper, I will have a little eye that pops up over here or down here or, or somewhere in this vicinity up. Just look somewhere or something will pop out at you. So there's our canvas. Oh, shenanigans. Oh, good, good gravy. Toolkit. Y'all don't care about that. Um, Let's see here. We have our drills. We have my charge block that just fell off my phone. This was packaged up 3819. I am going to go into these because if you guys remember, there was something special about these. And I want to see if they kept it. So yeah, there was a lot of 310s and 939s in this one. And don't worry, I'll show you the canvas here in a few minutes. I'm not seeing the key aspect of the picture. I really hope they didn't get rid of it. Please, dear G's, please tell me they didn't get rid of it. All right, so let's take a look here. We got our, yeah, y'all don't care about that. Okay, they did get rid of it. That kind of sucks. Hang on a second. All right, I wanted to go look at the other one for reference. They did get rid of the key factor that I loved about this painting so much. Here's that, yeah, y'all don't care about that. Um, the strip has... 28 colors there we go this is what he looks like now for those of you who don't know what i'm talking about if you look in the dead center where the lion is there is a ruby that they had there was a gigantic ab gem that on my first one he had a giant ab gem <music> 
on the new one, they do not have it. That really bums me out. Um, and his head looks more confetti. All right, so let's flatten him out so you guys can see. Wow, that really bums me out. I was kind of hoping they'd be like identical, you know? Doesn't matter. But we're going to flatten them so you can take a look. Boom! Soul Keeper. Now, for those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, right here in the old painting, it had a giant AB gem. And now it just has diamonds. And they're not ABs, they're just regular diamonds. So let's take a look. All right, so we have our three tins here. These are some of his colors. Still remember all the colors. <laughs> there are one set of ABs there. What number is that? 137, which is Z. Those 137s will be scattered throughout here. It looks like they got rid of a lot of the background because I, I remember there being more stuff at the top. I can't wait to do this one because I, I can't wait to show you guys the difference. I'm really hoping it turns out really nice because if you can't already hear it in my voice, that really bums me out. They got rid of a lot of the bottom part, which that part's fine because that was like all 910s and or 939s and 310s. But that middle part, that was like the key factor of the painting. And they put diamonds there and they're not ABs. And to be honest with you, I might switch those out for ABs because I have quite a few of them. I might even have another ruby like the old one had because I think I got two in that kit. And I keep all my Diamond Art Club kits. So I might replace those diamonds with that ruby because I wanted to have the ruby. I like that ruby. I keep calling it a ruby, and it's like a giant AB gem. Either way, I want it to have the giant AB gem, so I might replace it. Not going to lie. But 137 is somehow scattered throughout here. I do like the fact that they got rid of a lot of the background and made him stand out more. Um, I'm not even going to lie. The first time, the first kit of this, this bottom part looked like mashed potatoes. I don't know why. That's the first thing that came to mind. Well, that's the first thing that came to mind when I saw it. It looked like freaking mashed potatoes. Um, either way, there is my Soul Keeper. Um, I'm going to put some of this stuff away and then come back and show you all canvases all over again. Okay? Hold on. All right, folks. So there are all four canvases laid out beautifully. I have to say I'm pretty excited about this one. I am excited about the, the Soul Keeper. I know it sounds like I'm not, but I am excited to see what the new one looks like. I'm going to give it a chance, obviously. I ordered it, so why wouldn't I give it a chance? Um, the Winged Fox, uh, completely adorable. Mama Knows Best, uh, where she's not high on my priority list, and I'm pretty sure somebody will complete her before I do. I do think she's absolutely gorgeous. Just like I think the if, if I had to choose the first one I would complete out of this one, it would be the Hamsha Elephant, or Hamsa, sorry. It would be the elephant one, mainly because there's a lot going on here. And I just realized that it has AB gems, the number one. So kind of like outlining the fingers and stuff. So that will be really cool. I can't wait to start that one. Again, this one will be started on my one year channel anniversary. So yeah, that's what I got. I'm pretty happy about it. I think I did pretty well. And of course, at the end, uh, I will have... Uh, the pictures set up next to each other so you can see the prices and the pictures and all that fun jazz. So yeah, that's it for me, folks. I hope you guys have a great weekend if I don't see you tonight in the After Hours Lounge. I hope you guys have a great and happy and safe Easter. And as for me, I'm going to go now because apparently the men in my house need haircuts. So as always, folks, remember to be kind, be courteous, be cool. Bye, guys.